Hi, this is Frank Taylor with another episode of Nature in Your Backyard. Today, we're going to talk about an insect called best beetles. And again, this is something that I was out walking in the woods and I looked down and this guy's crawling across the ground in front of me. And I was pretty surprised to see him at the time because usually these guys are buried in logs and I don't know what he was doing outside of his log that day. So I picked him up and said, hey, let's do an episode on these guys. So these th guys do some things that no other insect does in the insect world. And the, one of the big things that they do is they stay together as a family. A mom and a dad beetle will lay eggs, a female will lay eggs, of course, and they will take care of those eggs. They will defend them, they will protect them, and when the larvae come out, they will feed them, and they will continue to feed those larvae and take care of them until they eventually pupate and emerge as adults. No other insect does that. So, stick with me on this one, watch my trailer, and I'll be back with some close-up views of this best beetle and finish telling you the story. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. And here's the make this invasive. It's exotic. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's So first, let me introduce you to the best beetle. You can see that this has the classic beetle. It has the elytra, which are a modification of its wings that protect its underneath flying wings. It's a very hard outer coating. It has an abdomen underneath, a thorax, which is the sections where the legs come out from, head, eyes, and antenna. And look at those jaws. Now, while those jaws are fearsome, these guys don't bite at all, and they're really easy to handle. You can see he has antenna that he uses very intensely. And if you think about where these guys live, they live in logs. So most of their interaction with the environment is probably through touch because they're inside in a dark place all the time. So their name is also patent leather beetle, and because they're shiny like a pair of black leather shoes. Now, another feature they have that can help you identify them is they have a little horn on the side of their head. And you see that little horn coming out? And I don't know that what the function of that is. It's above his jaws, and it can help you identify if you find one of these guys. Those jaws are adapted for cutting into wood and logs. And these guys actually live in, in rotten hardwood logs. Oak, maple, hickory are its favorites. And that's why I'm a little surprised that I found best beetles on my property because most of my hardwoods are very young and most of my dead trees are pines and that's not preferred tree species for them. The pines are giving away to the hardwoods as a part of natural selection. So some of the cool things about these guys is that they do things that no other insect species does or at least that I know of around here, and that's raise and take care of their young. These beetles will form a mated pair. Mother and father beetles will take care of the young. They'll lay eggs, they'll defend the eggs, they'll protect the larva that hatch from the eggs, and they'll actually feed them. Because they're eating very hard, decay-resistant wood, like maple, oak, and hickory, these guys will need some extra help in digesting that. And they, may, they will uh, recycle the food they eat. So they'll eat their own poop. That poop will be colonized by fungus. And then they'll eat that again. So in a combination of nutrition from the fungus itself, from the fungal de decay products, these beetles get their nutrition. They'll lay their eggs in a mix of frass, which is broken up, partially digested, or cut wood and sawdust mixed in with their own poop, and they'll lay their eggs inside that. So remarkable, remarkable insect 
that the mother and father take care of their young. The males and females will take care of their offspring. Very unique thing among insects. Most insects lay their eggs and they disappear. So this is really special. Another thing these guys do is they talk. And a lot of times they talk when they feel threatened. <laughs> and I'm trying to make him feel threatened. And I was listening to see him if he talked, but, it, but he didn't. My wife was outside here working. And I had the best beetles in here with some rotten wood for him to feed on until we filmed them. And she said she could hear him talking in there. They make up to 14 or 16 different sounds uh, when they're inside a log. And so scientists believe this is a system for them to communicate within their colony. They make the sound by either rubbing their back wings against their abdomen or rubbing some of their legs together, and they can create a lot of different sounds. And you see he's getting pretty comfortable with me. He, doesn't, he knows I'm not going to eat him, and so he's just getting ready to, to go out and look around. You can see he's perfectly harmless, even though he's trying to open those jaws up. You know, they're 100% completely safe to bite. You know, he has not tried to bite me, and I'm not sure if he's capable. It could be that those jaws don't separate wide enough to pinch one's skin. Best beetles, they are really, really cool guys to have. You can keep them in a terrarium for a few days with some moist, rotten wood. And this is, again, something else you can go out and find. Rotten logs are full of all kinds of wood boring beetles and grubs and insects. My last episode was on a longhorn beetle called the white spotted Sawyer beetle that had grubs inside some logs here. And we actually found them when I was looking for best beetles. The best beetles think you can go out and find them, especially if you live near an oak, hickory, maple, a hardwood forest, look in hardwood logs. And when you find one, you often find a whole bunch. So this has been Frank Taylor, my best beetle here. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature in Your Backyard. Check out my playlists on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're interested in insects, you can go to my insect playlist and see a whole bunch of different videos on insects that you can find around your house. Of course, I'll be adding to them. You can also find playlists on amphibians and reptiles and plants. So depending on what you're interested in, you can check out those videos. So here's my best beetle. We'll see you later. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and spread the word to your friends and family members and share any of my videos that you like. Thank you for watching Nature in Your Backyard. Backyard. Yeah. Can you show us the best beetle? Um, we don't know what its jaws are for, but we know it eats its poop. It eats its poop, yep. And what kind of beetle is this, Henry? Best beetle. It's a best beetle. And do best beetles live by themselves or in a group? In a group. In a group, yeah. Um, do they, uh, do the moms and dads take care of their babies? Yes. Yes, they do. Isn't that crazy? So, best beetles are one of the few beetles. This was a mistake, and the best beetles eat wood and fungi. Yeah. Did the best beetles survive that fall? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty tough. So another name for the best beetles is patent leather beetles, and they get that name because they're so shiny. Yeah.